So the first thing that I like to do on a Monday morning is go through the sales that came through from the week prior. Just reflect on that and see how we're kind of tracking towards the monthly goals that we've got set for ourselves. If we have a look at the numbers that came in from last week, we did $2,700 in revenue. Uh, that wasn't too bad. It was pretty much an average sort of a week. We had 70 sales come in, so that was an average of 10 sales every day, and we had an average sale price around about the 38 to $39 mark, which is where it usually sits. And if you have a look at the last 10 weeks since Courtney first came on board as a part-time employee working 20 hours a week for us, um, we've been able to see some really significant increase in revenue, which has been really cool to see. Uh, but the last two weeks just fell away a little bit, 2,100 and then a 2,700. So we're trying to pick that back up, uh, but so far so good. The month is looking pretty decent. We're sort of sitting 6.5% off track uh, we've got four and a half thousand dollars worth of revenue so far up to march 13 uh, sort of the midway point of the month and um we're sitting pre pretty much 25 dollars a day down on where we need to be so there's a lot of wiggle room there to be able to catch up those numbers which we're going to hopefully do this week what i do after i've gone through these numbers is i reflect them and go through them with courtney at 10 a.m when she starts the day and then from there we'll come back and i'll show you what's actually selling on ebay we've got 22 sold items to work through and then from there, we're gonna go out and do some thrifting to hopefully help you guys on a sourcing front as well. Now, we are running our 15% off special on the hats or accessories and our clothing items. We had a couple of sales come in, two pieces of clothing and a hat. This one here is the first one. This is an awesome one to find when you're at the flea market or garage sales, they're very common. Anything sort of beer related goes very well. We've got a $38 sale price for this one here. I didn't really have an exact purchase price on this because it came in the eBay store buyout, um, but you can find these for two, three dollars a pop and they always convert for close to 40 bucks. So that was awesome to see come in. In the clothing, this is probably the bit, well it is 100% the best clothing sale that we had. Um, these are some North Melbourne AFLW um, women's AFL playing shorts. And whenever I see anything in the sporting category for clothing, I'll always pick them up. Jerseys, these footy shorts are a great example. I found these for $7, cotton on. I knew through the sponsorship there that this was a genuine product. I also know based on that tag there, anything that says on field in the AFL category is always gonna be a genuine product. So $7 a piece, both the same size. I, I listed them up individually but I had somebody buy them in a group purchase. So both of them sold to the same buyer. I spent $14 on these two items just last Wednesday, and we got a turnaround of $25 each, a $50 sale price, and we're gonna ship it off for $7.70. So in effect, 14 into 50, there's gonna be some really good profit in a really quick turnaround. Sell through rate so important. This is a good item for you to try and find. Now, I think there were three pairs of shoes that we had sell over the weekend. You can obviously guess that these were gonna be the best of the bunch. These were an awesome pair of shoes. They're the Air Max 97s. Uh, like new condition as well on these things. They are immaculate. And I found them at the flea market. I got them for $35, so I did pay up for them. And that's obviously a pretty scary thing when you're a new reseller to do, but I've been doing shoes for so long that I knew the turnaround on these were gonna be pretty quick. And we took a few weeks to sell and we got a very, very good sale price for them. It was $106 plus a 10% uh, coupon was activated. So we've got about a $96 sale price uh, on these ones here. And you, when you're buying them for $35, that's a lot of profit at the end of the day. So I'm very happy to see this one come through, plus the two other shoe sales that we had as well. So we've had five video games sell. These are the two best of the bunch. And reason why, I think first of all, is that PlayStation 1 sells incredibly well. And we've got Nintendo GameCube, which I don't find too much, but when I do, I know the sell-through rate on these are gonna be pretty good. These are some slightly higher end games. Silent Bomber here, no manual in this one, but we still got a $42 sale price. Plus we've got some international postage. I think this one's off to the USA. $20 worth of additional postage on that. And this one here sold for $38 as well. It was in store for a couple of months but we finally got a sale. I think this was taken up with a coupon as well. So had it priced up for about 45 and then we ended up getting a 38 sale price. There were three other games as well, but they're just always consistent sellers. And I think if you're a beginner seller out there, 
should be focusing on trying to get your hands on a few video games. Now, another consistent selling category, my favorite, is the DVDs. These are the two best out of the category this weekend. So the first one here, the reason why I like this one is because it says complete collection. Now, whenever I'm looking for my DVDs out in thrift stores, garage sales, flea markets, my eyes are scanning for the word complete. And if you see complete, you can kind of know that it's going to be worth a few dollars when you get it on eBay. Um, this was, I believe, an anime series as well, which the category of anime goes pretty well. Um, that one there, we got a $40 sale price. So that was really cool to see come through. We can get this into a small satchel because there's only two DVDs. Um, so that should be pretty easy to ship off. And then this one here, Fast Forward. If you can find the complete season sets of this, this show goes for about five to $600. This one is just a volume set and it's just a clips episode. So it's not actually anything too crazy, but we're still able to get a $40 sale price on that one there. And we put single DVDs into a medium tracked post envelope. So that'll only ship out for about five bucks worth of shipping. We've got a $40 sale price on it. You can find these in thrift stores for about a dollar. So that was an awesome turnaround there. A few more DVD sales as well. The category is just continuing to produce for us. Now these, look, this is something that I wouldn't think was worth any money until I got this eBay store buyout and I had a few of these to try and list up and sell. Sell through rate on the action figure category has been really surprising and it's an area that I actually want to focus a little bit more on. Um, these were just some accessories that we did as a little bulk bundle. So it was just two listings or one listing with two items and we got a $23 sale price for these WWE wrestling accessories. Um, we had three other sales in the action figure category as well, which I'll show you guys in just a moment. But I actually really want to start focusing on this more and more. I want to buy more of this sort of stuff, accessories and action figures, because the sell-through rate and the average sale price has been really good, and they're an item that you can pick up for pretty cheap as well. This is a really cool little result that's just come through. Uh, where is it? It's at the top. Courtney's just starting to do a post and there it is there. $120 for this action figure. Talk about action figures just then and then we had a sale pop in. How good is that? Uh, so it's right here. So I'm gonna go get a box Courtney for this because it's a big one, but have a look at this. This has just come through. Look at that. I don't think we've got a box big enough. So I'm gonna have to go to Bunnings and uh, and pick something up, but I'm gonna go and get one for this Barbie doll as well. But how cool is that? There you go, Courtney, all yours. All right, so once you're, say, 15 minutes away from finishing the post, yeah. um, just give me a phone call. Yeah. And you can come out and do some thrifting. Yeah. Sweet, all right, let's go do it. We'll go do some thrifting and then catch up with Courtney later. This definitely is an ideal having to go out and do the thrift runs that I've been doing over the last couple of weeks. Our sales have been kind of falling a little bit because I haven't been able to find the volume and the quantity of really good listings like I did when I had the eBay store buyout. And it's also inefficient for time, going out every single day to try and find the listings just to survive that day. Uh, it's, a, it's a whole lot more pressured as well because if you don't find them, um, then you're gonna be in a real position with the algorithm to not generate the sales that you need. So. Definitely in a position where I'm looking to make bulk buys. Um, so if you've got some stock out there that you don't need, definitely feel free to get in touch. Shoot me a note on Instagram because I'm absolutely in the position to go ahead and strike and just buy some of your stuff. And I'm willing to commute as well. So if you're not exactly near the Gold Coast, um, just still shoot me a message because we'll try and make something work in the sense of shipping or I might even travel for it. Um, but yeah, I just need the stock and you'd be really helping me out. But in the meantime, I'm just going to have to cross my fingers and hope that over the next couple of hours we can find some really good stuff. So let's get into the first store and hopefully we can find a bag.
right, so a pretty tough start, albeit it was only a $2 spend in the end. He gave me the book for a dollar. Um, so a DVD and a book. I'm not happy because it's just going to be a slow sell-through rate on that book. And I also don't have a lot of books in my store as well, so I'm not going to get a lot of traffic um, for that item. And there wasn't even that many comps either. So this is what I'm talking about. You just want to be buying these quality listings. And because of the stress and pressure to feel like I need 20 listings a day, it makes me buy those sorts of things. So that's why it's just a bit concerning. If I had uh, a bulk deal sitting at home and I came out looking for items, I'd just cherry pick the best of the bunch. But we need 20, that's the game plan. And it's been working for us. It's not like, oh, do you even know if that's gonna work? I do know it works. So it's just about finding the quality. We've ended up grabbing these two. It's no real loss because it was such a cheap purchase price, but we need to make sure in the next one, we get the best. So a couple of pretty good buys in that second run there. Um, we've got two Wii consoles here. So I was really excited to see $40 isn't too bad of a purchase price on this bundle. Everything looked like it was in pretty good condition. These motion sensor uh, wireless controllers, they go for some pretty decent money just on their own. Um, yeah, yeah, even the manual as well came along with it. So I, I didn't mind that. I was actually more excited about this one. Um, it was priced at $60. It was a little bit more expensive, but there were a few more extras that came along with it. Um, but I was, I was most excited because of the games. Um, Wii Sports and Wii Sports Resort, that there goes for about $40. So the fact that they were 40 alone, plus everything else, we've got some steering wheels, we've got some remotes and the console and cables, plus the manuals, there's going to be some profit on that. But I'll probably do these games individually. And then I've also got two copies of Monopoly The Block. These are only $8 a piece. And there were some comps on eBay anywhere between $30 to $40 in pre-owned condition. The variants in the Monopoly game often go for some pretty good money. And The Block is a perfect example of that. 23 orders. She smashed it. So we've got all this to go to the post office now. I've brought back in these, uh, well, a couple of sales. Um, still got a bit to go, so we're gonna go back out there now, grab some lunch and keep doing some more thrifting. Let's do it. Courtney's just stressing out. I'm turning the camera on because she's she's worried. Don't what are you worried about? Wait, talk, talk to me. First post error, I think. 10 weeks in, first post error. Yeah, I've, yeah. It's going to WA, but it really shouldn't go to WA. So one thing that we do when we do the post is, rule number one is always do the envelopes first because you don't need to import them uh, into the system. You just fulfill them and then just send them off and then import the rest. But Courtney reckons that she imported all of the envelopes and then tried to manually delete them. And one of the envelopes she issued out to that big action figure that we just sold for $120. But she's caught onto it before we've got to the post office. At the moment it's going to WA, but it's going to Queensland. It's meant to go to WA? No, it's going to Queensland. It should be going to Queensland. It's going to WA. It's going to WA. <laughs> so it's good that we've caught it now before we get to the post office because we'll just probably manually fulfill the maybe the refund and the reissue at the post office. Um, but we'll just double check to make sure that's even the issue to begin with um, when we get there. Okay, so We've just been into Australia Post and this item here, the big action figure that we were talking about, uh, they can't help us and it was sent to the wrong person. <laughs> <laughs> Not that that's an issue though because Courtney worked it out and yeah. we're gonna uh, we're gonna take this home, we're gonna refund uh, the money back to us and then we're gonna reissue the money to the correct person. But Courtney did very well in realising it before we oh, issued it, because if it went through the post, it would have gone straight across to Western Australia. It's $120 worth of an item, so they might not have done anything about it. No, they wouldn't. They might have held on to a pretty good item, and then we would have been really caught out. Um, the other customer. With the other customer obviously wanting it, and then it would have been to somewhere oh that we God. wouldn't have been able to get it back. So, crisis averted. We'll get this one off when we get back home to the right buyer. Fingers crossed. That DC shoe jacket's pretty cool. Hi there. Hi. Not bad. $40 though. Is that a real one? Yeah, it's genuine. So we've just found a heap of Star Wars DVDs here, which is pretty cool. Um, we've got volume, the complete saga here, volume one to six, and these are all gonna be $2 each. So 
that's 12 into about 50 which is really cool um star wars is obviously a big a big mover this one here was a good one as well um should only cost two goes into 20 and then all of these here as well this is the best of the bunch so it's season one through to five of star wars the clone wars and i'll put the comps up on screen for you to check out but that is a massive bundle if you can be finding anything like this where it says the complete season um you know it's going to go well so to be able to find five out of seven seasons in that mix is pretty epic and then these as well this was just another star wars bundle of just randoms you could do these individually but i think i mean that trilogy set you could definitely do individually but then you got here you got the droids and then you've got clone wars volume one which is this set but this is the season set that's the volume set and we've only got the one so i'm just going to do that individually or actually i'm going to do a bulk listing so it's going to be these four in a bulk listing plus that one that one and that one so we've just picked up another four listings which is great what what surprised me about that was that she didn't have the special um written on the dvds no so when we got up to the register as you would have heard then the special oh yeah i should turn the arrow um we didn't realize that it was such a good special four for five dollars and we've got all these dvds here and as you know they're worth some significant money so to pay 29 dollars, and we know that the clone wars season one to five is worth like 100 130 odd dollars uh, that's a massive come up the come up that we needed for sure so we're going to push on to another couple of stores we need about another 10 listings just to cover today um, so hopefully we can round that out in the next store. Let's get into it. I reckon you've got a big hundred dollar item in here. Yeah. Just gonna come across it. Literally. You'll store this one. Oh, they are really good. That one especially. That's genuine Reebok. too. So it's genuine Reebok tag. Three dollars. Have a look at the front on it. I might even keep this for myself. <laughs> That is, and it's like new too. This one's not as new, but still 4X. Yeah, 4X is always a win. We just sold one today, didn't we? Yeah. The corduroy um, maroon one. So yep. this one here, $3. And these go for about 20 to 25. It's even got a little season 2006, seven on the back. So for those, six bucks. Yep. I just love this one. You're gonna keep it. I'll, I think I will. Right, we've just taken a, a quick seat in some of the comfiest couches I've ever sat in in my life. Um, we've got two here. So we've got a little Bindi Irwin. This is um, Steve Irwin's daughter, Bindi Irwin. And uh, it's a little action figure. Um, not sure on what year it is, but the comps on eBay, how much? Um, 35. Like 35 bucks for this one here. So we've just been trying to do some research. We don't know who this one is. So if you're a Bratz expert out there, let us know in the comments below. We don't know what her name is and we don't know how much she's worth, but we're buying her. And if you want her, let us know in the comments below as well. Just here in the electronics section, and I found this for just $12. Came in on the 11th of March. Dates are always pretty interesting to look at because that's how you know how long it's been on the shelf. So the 13th of March today, that's only been here for two days. It's a, do you want to Google um, eBay? It's just DVD-R. 3360. On eBay? Yeah. Uh, on, yeah, on eBay. Uh, and then I also found this as well. This is a joystick for the gamers out there, and it's a really good one too. It's the Extreme 3D Pro, and it's only $15. More chances, or more often than not, these things tend to work okay. I'm just a little bit nervous around the rust on the USB there, but I think I might. I'm tempted to go ahead and pick this one up as well. This one here, uh, a DVD, just a DVD player. So this only plays, this one actually records. So I'm, I'm more interested in what this one's worth. Courtney's just having a look. Anything on it? No exact match? Mm. Nothing on it, eh? No. It's probably why I've got it at $12. Yeah, yeah. Those ones that you got there. <laughs> actually, let's get both. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That'll only help. Which one's better? The sour spaghetti or the star mix? Oh, officially in the rotation. That's cool, huh? Forwards or backwards? I think backwards. Let's 
let's move on. Down here, castle. I've never heard of this, so this could be good. Green wing. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> This is a good show though. These are two dollars each. So we've got season one, three, four. Oh, where's two? Oh, there. Oh, look. What? More. Oh. This is fantastic. How many? Courtney just found season two, second season, and that completes the entire set. So now we've got every single episode of Castle on DVD. This goes to twenty dollars. Yeah, let's grab that as well. That's five dollars though. Do you think five? Oh, did you see that? Five into 20. These are three. Yeah. But we're still gonna do this. So we got... So that one's the eighth and final. Now, eight seasons. Brilliant. So the dude ended up giving us Abe Simpson as well, this little action figure. We got him for 50 cents. And we've been selling Simpsons action figures pretty consistently for sort of 15 to 20 bucks. So there are no, no comps on him. But I'm still pretty confident that we'll get a, um, a pretty good turnaround on that one there. Um, the castle, that was the only other one that we were able to pick up as well. So time is, well, 4 p.m. now and we've only got an hour left with Courtney around. So we can go back and do a really quick hour of power and try and smash out all of these listings that we've bought. Um, but as you can see, it's really tough to have to rely on going out to these op shops to try and find these items. And that's unfortunately the position that we're both in at the moment. So hopefully, there's some deals out there that can be struck. If you guys have got anything, obviously let me know and we'll uh, we'll try and make it work. But um, let's get back home and list it, up these items. All right, so we have got 40, how long? 40, what's our clock? 48 minutes. We've got 48 minutes to try and list all of these items that we've just picked up. And I don't know how many we're actually gonna get. Courtney's on the DVDs. I'm on the hats, the dolls the board games, the Wii consoles, I'm on a bit of a mix, but we're gonna start the clock, 48 minutes, and hope that we can get 10 listings done each. It could be I tough though. I just yawned. That's all right, you can yawn whenever you like. <laughs> Okay, it is officially 5.03 p.m. on a Monday. Just wanted to show you guys this. We've had a very, very good Monday. $422 in sales, which is awesome on the fact that they've been a little bit down over this little stretch here. Like I said, the last two weeks have been a little bit slow. Um, on a listing front, Courtney's been able to smash out nine listings worth of DVDs, and I let the team down. I'm on to my seventh listing with this Wii Sports Resort game. I actually found, I've been trying to break down this Wii console to the most revenue I guess I could possibly get out of it. Rather than listing up a big bulk deal, I'm going to do this separately. I'm going to do this game separately for 40 bucks. And I actually found this Michael Jackson game, The Experience, this one is actually selling for about $30 to $35. Even though it's a US copy, there's some big US American comps. So I've listed that one up uh, individually for $30. And then I've also got these two down here. These are the Wii Motion Plus uh, controllers. And they're actually selling for about $80. So I've listed these two up as a bulk deal for $80. A bulk deal, it's just a two-item listing. But $80 on that um, separately as well. So you've got $80 there. $40 there is $120. Let's say $150. And then I'm gonna do that as a console bundle. And I'll do this as a console bundle as well. So considering we paid $100 today, I think there's about $300 worth of Wii consoles broken up the way that I've broken it. So that was really cool to see. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video today, guys. Um, remember to subscribe to the channel if you can. We're at just over 15,000. We're trying to get to 20,000 subscribers. Courtney, thanks for your help today. You've been great. <laughs> You've been unreal today. Um, and so have you. Thanks very much for watching. Look forward to seeing you soon.